it. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Unbreakable Timeline here. You already know the deal. And in this video, I just show you guys how to create this everyday natural beat kind of look. Somebody requested this video, so I was like, let me go ahead and do it. So if you guys wish to see how I created this beat, go ahead and continue watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and comment down below anything else you want to see from me. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So you guys as you can tell by the title I am going to be doing my updated routine I do have certain ways on how I do my makeup now and I need to hurry because my camera is about to die very soon so I did wash my face as you guys can probably tell I am a little dry so you guys know I'm gonna go in with my Clinique dramatically different hydrating gel and I'm gonna place that all over my face. And this usually is the first step you would want to do in having a everyday flaw flawless makeup. Especially because I have dry skin, this is perfect for my dry skin. Now, I've been having this new way of, because on my nose, I do have big pores on my nose. So I'm going to go in and y'all, all my makeup brushes is clean. I cleaned them yesterday. But anyways, so I'm going to take this big body sponge since I'm going to be applying my makeup with it anyways. And I'm going to place some of this Pat McGrath Lab setting powder just on my nose, on the side of my nose because that's where it creases a lot as well. And I'm placing that under my eyes as well because that's where I crease so much. So if you guys don't want any creasing or anything like that, put that wherever your pores is large. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this Summer Fridays CC Me Serum and I'm going to apply that and I'm not going to disturb where that setting powder is. We're about to go in the sun very soon. So I just want something to... Just make my skin protected. And it smells so freaking good. And it's okay if you don't put it on your nose. You could put it on before you put that setting powder on. Up to you. So now let's go ahead into the brows. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I got it in the shade Ebony. And I'm going to start from the end of that bra if you guys can tell I brushed it up first and then I'm gonna just work my way from the back to the front and I'm gonna start on the other brow and then now once I go to the top brush those hairs down I did just get a wax so this is a lot better when I do my brows and I just get a wax but I'll start from the mid brow and then I'll just fill that in but I'm gonna go close as possible to my natural brow line Now, once I go to the front, I'm going to do slight lines so it can mimic the brows that's in the front, like my natural brow. And then now, I'm just going to brush the back into place. And then you can go back if you need to just to correct that. But just like that, you guys. You see how, like, natural that looks. It doesn't look too boxy. Now to conceal your brows, you can go with any concealer you want. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath Labs. Y'all, I've been loving this stuff. It tells me to put it on the back of my hand and kind of blend it out before I apply it but I've been applying it like this I don't apply too much because it is very light so that's why I just do the dots and then I'll go in and carve out these brows now this concealer does dry down pretty pretty fast and it is very hmm 
like a matte type of dry down. I don't really like concealers, concealers like this. But I won't lie, you guys. I love this one for some very odd reason. It is full coverage. I love the way that it looks under my brows. So. And then for the top, being that this is a lighter shade, I'm not going to put too much at the top. Because I love to conceal my brows with the same concealer. And I kind of work my way from the middle and then to the front like I would do if I'm carving out my brows. Now I finally got the e.l.f. brow clear brow and lash mascara. Y'all know this is like an old OG of mine. So I love this stuff and I'm going to go in with the brow in just to seal these brows in place. That way these brows don't move throughout the day budge or anything like that and trust me this e.l.f. brow gel is the wave it sticks down very sticky and i freaking love it so let's go ahead and move on we already primed the foundation that i've been loving is this nyx born to glow foundation and i got it in mahogany it is a little bit darker than my skin complexion so that's why I won't apply, apply too much as you guys can probably see. And I honestly just like to dab this foundation on my face. Any foundations really. Then I'm going to go in with this big body blender. Spray some of this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Before I used to spray the Farsali, you guys already know. But this Morphe is a new product and I've been loving it too. And then I like to take the extra foundation and just put that on my eyelids, especially when it's just a natural foundation routine. And bring that on your ear as well if you need to, just so everything could come together. Now I'm going to go back in with this Pat McGrath concealer. And again, since this dries down pretty fast and it is a lighter color. I'm going to come at like a kind of C-shaped and on my nose and then I'm just going to put a little bit there because watch when I blend this mess out it's going to be super light and then I only put a little bit here down my nose and a little bit here because all of that concealer trust me it's going to come up a little bit and I don't want too much on my forehead and I'm going to put some lip plumper on this is from I don't even know it like came off but it's definitely not the Too Faced I do have a new bottle but I'm going to do like a new product video but this one works just as good and because my lips are dry and I love for my lips to look a little bit more plump let's go ahead and blend this out I'm going to take the same body blender even though it is big it's okay and you want to make sure you're looking up that way that concealer can go under your eyes and now for like a more snatched look I like to always bring my concealer at an angle because I feel like my face is already kind of like round or whatever and I just want it to look more like snap now this concealer dries very matte but i love the coverage i love the coverage at first when i first tried it you guys i was a little nervous and i love to use my either a beauty blender this big body blender to blend out my concealers to even apply my foundation but you can use whatever you wish to use since that's all blended out i'm going back in with this pat mcgrath setting powder and i like to do this before i go into bronze and that's because i don't want once i bronze i like to cover the concealer up you know i don't like it to show over the bronzer and i don't want to apply a lot because like i said it is lighter than my skin complexion but 
it soaks into that concealer these products work so good together of course because it's the same brand but it just soaks in everything i love this concealer and this setting powder combo i think she came out with something so amazing but it just smooths everything out it smooths the concealer out now i'm gonna go in with this anastasia beverly hill stick foundation and walnut and this is a lot darker than me but that's why i'm not going to apply too much even though i really like to look bronze especially when it's like my everyday snatch makeup routine and then i also like to put that on my nose because i'm going to blend all of this out just like that so now I like to take this MAC 133 brush, which is the dual fiber brush. I freaking love this brush. And then I like to just brush that up. You don't really want to rub it like because it's going to patch it out instead of making it look like it's your actual skin. You could use any brush you wish, but I really love using this dual fiber brush. Then I'll go in with this same brush, whatever brush you use. So I'm done blending that out. Then I love to go in with this True Complexion Contour Palette by Black Radiance. Oh, God. And I love to go in with the Sculpt color, which is in the middle because it just matches my skin complexion. And I just want that warm color to go back into my skin. So I like to take a real big angle brush to apply this bronzer with and then I'll just do the same thing, pat motions and then you can blend it in. So pat motions on the side, you could blend that sucker in on your forehead, you do your mouth like this, weird but do it. And I don't take any extra product for my chin area. And then I'll take that same brush, or I might take a little brush, but I'm going to take the same one just to do my nose contour. Then I'm going to go back in with this Pat McGrath setting powder because now we're going to snatch this nose and more so of our cheek area. Now I'm going to go back in with that bronzer brush that I used and I'm not going to apply any extra product on there but I'm just going to brush that off or you can pat it. Mm. Now we're almost done. That was so freaking fast. Then I'll go back in with my setting mist, setting spray, whatever. I'm going to go in with this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. It's supposed to give it more of a luminous look. I just love that luminosity you know on my face so I'm going to apply this before I apply any highlight I like to apply a lot of that because you can't really feel it on your skin it doesn't come out hard and I freaking love it now I need to get more highlighters but I've been loving the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I know it's an old product, but OD, but very, very good product. And also because I've been using the Amorizi Highlighter a lot. So I was like, let me just try to go back to my Maybelline. Also, turn your mouth like this, like as if you're about to bronze too. Can you guys see that? Mmm. That crap just melts right into your skin. Oh my god, it looks so good. And then I, I like to apply a little bit there, a little bit here, not too much. And then I'll dip my brush back into the highlight for the other side. Now, since we're done with that, let's go ahead and apply some mascara. I've gotten this mascara out of the BoxyCharm box. And it is the, the Pretty Vulgar mascara i oh my god y'all this mascara like the product is super thick i don't even need to apply any eyelashes and i'm not because like i said it's just a natural look 
and I like to go in with the bottom lash and apply it as well. Alright, so now I'm going to go in and do my lips for my favorite lip combo lately. Well, you guys know I've been using the NYX lip liner in the color brown. As you guys can tell, it's short too. So y'all know I've been using a lot of it. I use this all the time. I did get a new one, so I can't wait for you guys to see that one. So, the lipstick that I freaking love is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I got this one in Honey. It is their matte lipstick. And I will place that pretty much in the middle. Then, I'll go in with this Retro Matte Lipstick by MAC in the shade Made Mostly. And I'll apply that just in the center of my lip. Now, if you want to just leave it as a matte look like this, it's totally fine. My last video, I kind of just left it matte. Or if you want, you could go in with any lip gloss. And this is like a little goldish, rose gold type of lip gloss. And yeah, this is the final look. Let's go ahead and spray this bad baby down, even though we already did. But I like to look very luminous. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you love this everyday natural beat type of makeup look with no lashes, I freaking love it. If I'm in a rush, this is what the makeup look that I'll do. And if I wasn't like talking to you guys, this makeup look will probably take me a good 20, 30 minutes. No lie, I'll probably do a video like that as well, just showing you guys. But since I'm talking and everything, it took a little bit longer. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.